That is dedication, that isn't is it? That is amazing. Absolutely. Oh, Alexis is here, as you can see, with the weather forecast. Um, I went out to get a sandwich earlier and I almost transformed into Mary Poppins when I put my umbrella up. <laughs> I can imagine. It's yeah. awful. It, yes, it's going to be very windy and batten down the hatches, really, the rest of tonight and tomorrow. It's going to be very windy indeed. Anthony Lofo. So through the course of today, we've seen a lot of clouds and outbreaks of rain and the winds have really started picking up in speed. Gusts of 69 miles per hour at the Needles on the Isle of Wight. It is an exposed area, but the gusts will continue to be very strong tonight and tomorrow. So very strong winds tomorrow and rain at times. As we head through this evening and overnight tonight and through the day tomorrow, there is a Met Office wind warning. For southern coastal counties, this yellow area, that's where we could see gusts of between 50 and 60 miles per hour, inland gusts of 40 to 50 miles per hour tonight and tomorrow. So quite windy conditions, the wind's really increasing in speed overnight tonight. With it, we'll have a lot of cloud, maybe one or two clear spells for the south and east, but outbreaks of rain in many places, mainly for northern and western areas, and the rain could be heavy at times, with temperatures being fairly high overnight, lows of 9 to 10 degrees. So it will be a wet day tomorrow at times. Uh, we'll have some dry interludes, maybe some brightness down towards the southeast first of all. And then we'll see the, the very strong winds continue with gusts along coastal stretches and for southern coastal counties of around 60 miles per hour, inland wind gusts of up to 50 miles per hour. And the winds continue to be strong as we head to towards tomorrow evening, but gradually easing tomorrow night. So as you can imagine on the inshore waters the winds are going to be strong they are southwesterly seven to severe gale nine then veering westerly four to six later and the sea state is rough or very rough at times further rain is expected tomorrow night that's when the winds slowly start to ease we'll see clear spells develop and there will be some patchy cloud with lows of seven to eight degrees so to start saturday we could have some, a lot of cloud around with some patchy rain but it will start to brighten up more so through the afternoon with the area of low pressure we have at the moment starting to clear away eastwards opening the doors to some brighter conditions but also one or two sharp showers and the showers could be heavy and thundery in nature. As we look ahead to the outlook we will see some unsettled conditions over the next 24 hours. Very strong winds particularly along coastal stretches where we could see gusts of up to 60 miles per hour and showers are expected over the weekend. Ed. It's like November. It is, yes. Thank you for that, Alexis. <laughs> Be with us tomorrow. I'm going to school. Ooh. We will tell you all at 6.30 tomorrow evening. Join us then. But from us, thanks for watching. Night-night. Good night. I was going to say, have you been enough?